Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to teach you how to change the O-ring and the piston and some other parts in case you ever need to get into there. And um, it's really quick and simple. Should be pretty easy, fun. And let's learn our Leshy 2. So first step you're gonna do is just remove the air tube. If you guys don't remember, that's this little red button right here. And we're not gonna need the front of the action, just the buttstock. Tools you're gonna need to get this little off. And by the way, you don't have to degas this because everything is south of the plug or whatever you wanna call it, the valve. So we're not gonna to need to degas it. Tools you're gonna to need, three millimeter hex wrench, pair of needle nose pliers, and a nice set of punches. These are pretty good ones. Two and a half millimeter punch. And that should be it. So step one is going to be, you're gonna locate your locking screw make sure you guys can see it right there all right and we are going to take our three millimeter hex wrench and we're going to break it loose and go ahead and unscrew it now i'll tell you a little tool that's pretty helpful here is a little magnetic bowl so we don't lose anything so screw in there gear axle, gear spring. Let's go ahead and take our gear out. You can just push it from the front here, nice and gentle. Remember that uh, nothing really needs to be forced on here. If you're forcing it, you're doing it wrong. Your two and a half millimeter punch, you're gonna locate the two holes in the front, one, two. And basically what you're gonna do is release the R2-D2 on top. I think Ed calls it the radio tower, but I prefer R2-D2. So, um, watch, you can see here. Just take a, your finger, push a little bit of force down. Let me get my fingers out of the way here. A little bit of force down, and you shouldn't even need um, a hammer to push them out. Just release the tension on the top of the piston and push them right out. Okay? Now, now that we have that released, we just take our finger and gently pull until our R2-D2 radio tower comes out. Now I want you to take a look at this. Do you see how there's a cutout on one side and a little horseshoe on the right on the other side? So as you're orientated, if the gun is facing, the butt is towards you and the action is facing away, the cutout is going to be to the right here and the horseshoe will be to the left. So it's going to be replaced like this, okay? cut out on the right side horseshoe on the left I'll repeat that in case you forget now you're gonna pull out your piston spring I don't know that this would wear out but this spring gets pushed up and down a lot so maybe this is something you might need to replace after a few 30,000 rounds or so you get on those pliers you're gonna pull your piston out nice and gently kind of like the operation game and if you need to replace this part, that's how you do it. Now you can just turn it over, tap it out. And the parts that you should have are the piston plug, which looks like a little trapezoid piece, and the piston housing, which contains a little O-ring. Okay, O-rings are, uh, the sizes are all on my website and in Gun West. Go to schematics and take a look at the size of the O-rings. I don't remember it off the top of my head. That's why I'm sending you guys to my website. Okay, so now we've replaced this O-ring or maybe we've replaced the piston because it got damaged or maybe it was time to replace the spring because I've been shooting my gun thousands of times a day and it's time to replace it. So let's go ahead and put it back in order which it's going to go. Step one, your little trapezoid triangle piece. It's going to go flat side up. And let's see if I can get it in here and do it on camera. And I'm going to take it off camera for a second just to look. Okay, looks like I got it first try. Looks like I've been practicing that. Second step is going to be make sure your O-ring is seated at the bottom here. And you're going to place this guy right inside. 
and we don't really want to mar anything up just use your finger okay now a little trick here is take a little tool and make sure that both pieces are flat against the action of the valve housing okay next step let's take our piston now we have two spots we have a fat one and a long skinny one fat one with a little ring on the bottom that's the part that goes down piston is going to go to the right side against the piston housing wall so this little part here is going to go to the right this is going to be where your gear goes so it kind of goes in like this and so basically the way the system works is air comes in pushes it up well we'll push it like that pushes the gear up cocks it and the gear comes back down so that's how we're going to want to put this back in so just remember the little cutout right here goes down we're going to slide that inside and we're going to make sure that this lines up now before we put the spring in here it's pretty easy to put the gear in like so and just kind of line it line it up so that the gear fits into the little piece just like that okay you guys can see that right there pretty simple so far everything going smoothly all on one take on film now your spring goes back in now remember our little r2d2s here and i'm looking at it and i see horseshoe cut out guns faced the uh gauge is faced towards me buttstock towards me cut out horseshoe cut out to the right we're going to put it in and we're going to push it down and what you might need to do is rotate it just a little tiny bit until the holes line up did you hear that little click and let's push this guy in we might need to tap these in with a little hammer but i'm not sure yet might be able to push these guys in here with a piece of plastic all right let's try a little tap there we go all right we're golden okay now next is going to be you're going to take your axle and your spring place your spring on your axle like so and line it up to the hole screw you guys back together all right and check to make sure that we have spring action on our gear which we do and we're back together all right simple as that i'll take the rest of the gun back apart later i hope you find that helpful and we'll see you on the next video thanks for watching everyone